Thomas the Tank Engine was feeling bright and cheerful. It was a splendid day. Good morning, he whistled to some cows, but the cows didn't reply. Never mind. They're busy with their breakfast. Next, he saw Bertie. Hello Bertie, care for a race today? But all Bertie could say was, Ouch! That's another hole in the road. I'm sorry Bertie, said Thomas was still in good spirits when Bertie arrived at the next station. Bad luck, Bertie. Now, if you were a steam engine, you would run on a pair of reliable rails. The railway was supposed to deliver tar to mend the road two weeks ago. You can't trust a thing that runs on rails. I run on rails, and you can trust me, Bertie. I'll see if I can find out what's happened. Thomas left Bertie and made his way along the branch line towards the big station by the sea. James was snorting about in the yard. Gordon laughed. I'll tell you what, James, if you pretended to be ill everywhere, you couldn't shunt freight cars here or go to the quarry there, could you? Thomas was sorry to see the engines looking so miserable. Cheer up, you two. It's a beautiful day. Yes, little Thomas, grumbled Gordon. Not for James. What's the matter? Don't worry, James, said Thomas kindly. I'll help out if you're not feeling very well. Gordon and James snickered quietly to each other. Later, James spoke to Tom. A near misunderstanding, little Thomas. All's well that ends well. Just then, Bertie arrived. He was looking much more cheerful. My road's being mended now. Oh, I am glad for you, Bertie. Thanks for all you did. Now I know I can trust an engine, especially if his name is Thomas. Gordon and James puffed silently back to the shed. But Thomas still had company. Well, well. What a day for surprises! The Toad, who was looking forward to a ride home, noisily agreed.